back to uh, finishing off valve to assemble the cylinder head. Um, one of the things I forgot to mention in the first video is once you've assembled your valves and you do a vacuum test or a hot water test and if it fails water starts coming out of there you can do one of two things. This is valve grinding paste and you get fine grind, uh, fine end and coarse end. Sometimes you can get carbon build up around the edge of the seat. So this is a cutting agent, so you'll need a valve grinding device, so valve grinding paste. And what you actually do is you get the paste and you fit it around the seat of the valve, like that. Yeah. Now what's important is when the valve sticks to that there. Oops. Good old split. And you put that in there and you work it around the seat. It's a bent valve so that will go in. So you keep doing that and you keep lapping it. And then what happens is, is you get a white line around there and that'll clean all the excess carbon that you want off. Not a problem. So if that doesn't work, then you've got to have the valve and the seat cut at uh, the specialist machinists. Right, the next bit is the hard bit and this is the time consuming bit. The valve clearance. What you need for a valve clearance and setting the clearance is a set of feeler gauges, set of verniers, and a 21mm spanner. Just bear with me a second. Right, setting valve clearances. You've got to have your cam lobe pointing up at the top, like so. And there's a hexagon 21mm on cylinder number two. So there, valve clearance is that. Now your first two valves are your inlet valves. The next two valves are exhaust, inlet, exhaust, inlet, exhaust, inlet, exhaust. For inlet, you need 14 thou. So with your feeler gauges, you get your 14 thou feeler gauge. And it should be able to slip under there perfectly like it does do. And you can tell what size you've got because it just grips it. If you can't get it underneath it, you've got to resize it. Now, if you've got a valve that's too tight, because metal expands when, when it gets hot, you can actually be pushing the valve open. Now, there are solid shim on these, they're not hydraulic, so that's a shim. And you use a set of verniers to measure the diameter of the shim. Now there's different sizes available, they're about £9 each um, and there is another way to get around it. What you need to do basically is they start at 2 mil and they go up to about 2.75 mil. that's if you're buying the shims. There is another way to do it, to set the clearance and that's trim the top of the valve on a grinder, on a bench grinder and slowly as you put it towards the bench grinder, twist the valve so you get a nice flat cut and that's how you do it quite simple the only thing is is it's time consuming you've got to keep putting the valves in and out of the cylinder head right so that's cylinder head covered um, next video will be warranty claim for nissan and the 2010 engine so come back to us soon and thanks for watching